So we've just established that a reciprocal is like a flipped version of the fraction. This has this invisible one that I've made visible here. Would you believe me if I then said that this is the reciprocal of this? Is 18 over 1 the reciprocal of 1 over 18? If that's true, then I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by that same reciprocal. Because it's an equation and we do the both, same thing to both sides. You guys are with me? This times this gives me 18, and this times this gives me 18b. I'm just trying to make everything visible. 18 times 6, I don't know it off the top of my head. Um, where is that? I had it written down earlier. <laughs> Let me just do the math real quick. 18 times 6, 108. So 18 times 6 is 108, but this is a positive 18 and a negative 6, so we end up with negative 108. There's really a 1 over 1 there, isn't there? 1 times 1? One? 1. Making everything visible. We leave a lot of these steps off when we're doing this work. Because typically, I wouldn't write this either. I know that 18 over 18 is 1. And what am I really trying to do here? Get the variable by itself. As soon as I have something that equals 1 with it, it is by itself. And I also would not write this negative 108 over 1. I would just write negative 108 equals B. That's what our work typically looks like. We cut to that shortcut. Why don't you turn your paper over and look at 15 and 16. is V over 8 equals 2 and 16 is 16 equals K over 11. I don't even want you to try to solve them yet. I want you just to tell me what is the fraction that's here and what is its reciprocal. Go ahead and try writing them on your paper. What is the actual fraction that's here with this V? And what is its reciprocal? How many of you wrote 1 8 for the fraction? Really, it's 1 8 V or 1 V over 8. What's its reciprocal? 8 over 1. So if I'm going to take this, and I, this is my shortcut way of doing it, I just put parentheses about both si around both sides, because when I put parentheses around something and put something right next to it in algebra, I'm saying I'm going to be multiplying it. I'm going to squeeze my 8 over 1 in here. When I multiply this 1, V times 8, I get 8. 8 times 1 is 8. And on the right side of the equation, I get 2 times 8 is 16 over 1. Again, I'm showing all of the work. Do we normally do that? No. What is 8 over 8? 1. That leaves me with the V. What is 16 over 1? There it is. Set up 16. You're not going to know this without a calculator because it's, it's not a number we've got memorized. But what's, what's the reciprocal that we need to work with here? 
I heard it. Now I'm dealing with the shortcut version. This is what we normally do. 11 over 11. You'll hear people say they cancel each other out. When we say they're canceling each other out, they're doing this. We're getting it to an invisible one. This 11 over 11 is equal to an invisible one. That leaves us with K. And 11 times 16, good job. I use the calculator. Did you? You just sit there and calculate it. 176 equals K.